Women Empowering Women. That was the goal of a collaborative event held at a Madison gym today. WMTV Shannon Ajawan went to the HQ of Madison. The owner brought several women-owned businesses under the same roof for a morning of networking. And this gym is over 50% female membership base, which is pretty unheard of in a powerlifting, bodybuilding, general fitness style of gym. Only women were invited to Jen Costin's gym Sunday morning. The tables have turned. The fitness industry right now is very female empowerment, a lot of women in the gym, and we love to have a safe space for women to lift and to come in and not have issues of feeling like they're not accepted in this space. The free event was a chance for local women to build strength together. Just the atmosphere is so intoxicating with empowering women, which is amazing. And it's loud and it's exciting in here. And I love that feeling so, so very much. The goal of the collaborative gathering to empower one another, not just physically. I am a small business owner of Pink Barrel Wine Consulting. I'm a certified sommelier. And so I go into people's homes, help them taste wine. Female-owned businesses shared what they have to offer. We kind of thought about the amazing network of other female-owned businesses in the area and how we have so many great connections and just try to get everyone under the same roof. So fitness is all of our background, so we invited all of our friends that own spas, restaurants, everything else to come and try to get everyone to network and meet in person. Women supporting each other this History Month. For me, it's about stepping outside of your comfort zone but feeling safe doing it. And that means having other women around you. And that's how I feel safe when I'm doing something that's outside of my comfort zone. Costin says she has spoken with many of today's attendees on social media. But this morning was the first time she got to meet many of them in person. It was the start of several new friendships. In the studio, Shana Nijau and WMTV 15 News.